Welcome, my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Let's get into it. Let's talk about YBN Almighty J. You know, it's messed up what happened to him. He looks bad. They done slice his face. And you know, when people usually slice your face, usually girls do it to slice other girls' faces because they think that they're prettier than them and they try to make them look ugly and scar them for life. So they scarred, you know, um, YBN Almighty J for life scarred his face up because you know he be showing off his little pretty face all up in the camera, all up on IG and all that other stuff. But I'm like, damn, they did him dirty for real. But, you know, they snatched his chain, his wallet, his sneakers. They snatched everything that he done had. And basically, you got Jay Prince coming out here to the defense talking about he got mob ties. Talking about he better get YBN Almighty J chain back immediately because when you robbed rapper YB and almighty J, you robbed him because that's his rap a lot chain so he's pissed j prince put the word out here on the streets that he wants it he's ready for it he got mob tights everywhere all over the world we got people that's working for him i was like if you got all that why are you doing this shit online you supposed you're old school g you're supposed to move old school you're supposed to be behind the lines and then come out with the chain in hand on YBN Almighty J's neck. That's how you do it. That's how people used to do it back in the day because this ain't nothing new. People been robbing and taking chains and doing videos and rap videos. There has been chains that took tours and everything all over the internet. We've seen that. It, it's been done. It ain't nothing new. And then, you know, the head people come out and get the chains back. But they get the chain first. And then get up on the gram and get up on YouTube, get up on Twitter, and basically boast about what they did. So let's check this out. Let's check out the goons that got YBN Almighty J chain, allegedly. Let's see what they got to say. That's really his chain. Yeah, you see it. As long as he texts it, he go. You got to get that chain back. You hear me? Listen, I'm saying that this shit just laid there in niggas' heads, you feel me? And they did the right hands though. We trying to get. I ain't gonna lie. We trying to get it. We trying to get it back to the Belonga. Niggas contacted some way somehow. Black China. Black China says she got twenty thousand dollars for the chain. I told her you could have this shit. It's not worth no twenty. She's on some like. It's it's besides the point. I got problems with him. I'm the one that bought him this chain. Blah blah this. Blah blah that. So honestly speaking, this chain is going back to Black China. It's going back to her. We already set up the date and everything. Black China, a good girl. Now, whether she going to give the chain back to him or not, Black China going to have a chain. Damn, Black China's getting that chain. Yeah, Black so you see that they're asking Black China to come through. Black China talking about she gonna be out here helping her man or whatever her ex man, her ex boyfriend. She's out here. She's a down chick. I wonder if she gonna really put that money up to get that chain. I don't think so. I think that's too gutty for her. But if she calls her mother Tokyo Tony, Tokyo Tony again, in and she uh you know coordinate the deal, make sure you know YB <laughs> YB and Almighty J gets his chain back, baby. So this is crazy. And then you also know that YBN Almighty J was involved in, allegedly in a robbery of Skinny from the Nine. And so we have that information. But, you know, um, YBN Almighty J, he turned himself in. Basically, he said he's innocent. He didn't do it. You know, if, if you watch the videotape of the robbery, it looks like it was a setup. It looks like it could have been, you know, something pre-recorded. It looked like it could have been something that they all schemed together to do or whatever. But it is what it is. We don't know. YBN Almighty J is basically saying he's innocent of that. But, you know, karma is a bitch. So we have Skinny from the Nine. He basically get on the gram and promotes himself. And he got his jury back. And he said nobody could stop him. Don't kill you, make you stronger. I turn my L's to lessons. Come back bigger and stronger than ever. Chase your dreams. Thank you, Aviani. And 
one. So you see that. So I was just like, damn, what's really good? Skinny is just promoting himself. Basically, I don't know. Basically, if he's giving a message to YB and Almighty J that you're going to get it back and get it better. Or you robbed me and look what I got. And you out here begging for your chain. You got your manager begging for your chain. I don't know if there was some subliminals going on in that message. But we'll see what happens. And then the rappers, you know, um, Zay that has that supposedly allegedly has YB and Almighty J chain. They did a video. So let's check out the video. Mm. You see that going on? They did a video with the chain and everything showing people they are out here. They about that life. They ain't even playing. They want to make sure that we see what's going on. They want to make sure that we see what's good. But basically, are they incriminating themselves if that's actually the real chain? Because, you know, sometimes people make up and believe or make a chain that is a copycat, but it looked just like YBN Almighty J's chain. You know what I'm saying? It really did look like it. So it is what it is. So we got Jay Prince out here. He's out here wiling. He's leaving all types of statements and shit. He's out here talking about he. These people are clowns that took his took um you know YBN Almighty J's chain and he ain't feeling it. They robbed him and basically he got mob ties all over the world. He got people in the Bronx. He's about that life and he actually calls out the rapper's name and the whole night basically everybody's now is just saying Jay Prince is a snitch. He works for the FBI. Why is he out here snitching? He's supposed to know the street code, but he ain't been in the streets in a long time, it seems like to me. So I'm just like, mm, 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 what is going on? He goes, word around town, I got mob ties, okay? The mob is still big, the mob is still going on. So basically, you know, Jay Prince is out here saying that if any of y'all know these rappers and the Bronx, are you homies, are you friends with them, are you down with them, are you understand them, are you know them, don't ignore what I'm saying, don't ignore this receipt because it could be disaster for you and your family. I'm the realest dude out here in these streets, baby. And don't let these clowns get away with it because you're going to some real stuff i got mob ties man so basically he's kind of like putting out a threat online like people really take the threat serious online nobody takes threats serious online anymore you know what i mean but people that actually come through with the threats so what do you guys think about this situation should um jay prince actually settle this privately and you know did his phone calls and reached out to people because jay prince went on to instagram and basically added a bunch of people talking about you know help him get this chain back he needs this chain back Orders is from New York or whatever, but he went after Mason and some other people too as well. Mason responded. He got the most attention with his response or whatever. And his response was like, yo, you're doing this the wrong way, my friend. Like, you, you like, yo, you didn't even ask me. It's basically like a threat. And you put me in danger. You put my family in danger. I'm not directly involved with these kids. I'm not directly in their circle. But basically, you jeopardize, you jeopardize what I represent, what I'm about, and put me in this this nonsense, this this change snatch and if you were to dm me call me up or whatever but the way that you did is very disrespectful king but unfortunately you know you think social media is the solution and it's not the solution it's the problem baby so you should know this og don't you got some kids don't you know some people so my son is like yo listen you better chill out like you know you're very bad with miscommunication you miscommunicated with me it came off as a threat it came out like you were trying to warn me to tell me i better and you put me all up in the mix now i gotta stay step out but you know what you get some more shine mason so it's all good i was like damn it's going down this chain situation is going to be a story for a little bit but you know 
YBM Almighty J, he just dropped a song, and the song is actually nice. It's actually like a song of basically just saying that nobody really had his back, you know what I mean? He was set up. Basically, he was left out there. People that depended on, the people he depended on, you know, wasn't there. And basically, he feels a certain type of way, and he's brand new. So I guess I'm not going to see him joking and kidding around and playing around, you know, doing a little Takashi 6 9 situation. I think he's going to be more serious about his career and start with the IG and all this other stuff. It's nothing wrong with his IG page, but I guess people think that, you know, he's a clown. People think that he's easy. He, you know, he's food out here in these streets or whatever. So it is what it is. You guys tell me what you think about the situation, but it's bad for business, and I don't wish nobody dead. And even if YBN Almighty J did rob Skinny from the night, he did not attack him. He did not beat him. He did not slice him. And for these kids... And these guys that robbed, you know, YBN Almighty J, you know, um, they did him dirty. Like, damn, like, why you got to kick him? Why you got to do all that to him? It's just like, yo, you did. And then you recorded it, put it online. It's just like, okay, we got it. We understand where you're coming from. And that now you're doing a video about it. You're taunting him. And you're taunting the people. So, you know automatically now the police are going to be involved the police knows what's up you got your face out there i think their name is zay or something like that they got their they got their face out here they're out here promoting shit and basically they even told you know um jay prince to go suck his penis when basically he was trying to get the chain back they don't got no respect for him because they probably wasn't taught respect or they probably didn't even grow they probably raised themselves you know what i mean so you have to put all that in the equation and try to meet them on their playing field and call the people on the low they want attention they wanted you to release a statement and say what you did you know jay prince so they can respond you know they said f you but then they end up responding and said that they had nothing to do with it or whatever you know what I'm saying? It's not I say that they had nothing to do with oh or whatever. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. This is what they say. This is their response to the whole situation. Mm, mm, mm. Peace. I'm out. One love to all my peeps and my peoples.